In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, glory to Jesus Christ. Beloved in Christ, today's celebration of the most holy body and the blood of the Lord gives us an opportunity to focus our attention on this basic mystery of our faith, the Eucharist and to explore the meaning of the Eucharist in our worship and in our daily living. What is the Eucharist? The Eucharist is both a sacrament and a sacrifice. The Eucharist is a sacrament, an outward sign in and through which we meet Jesus, who shares his life of grace with us. In this sacrament of Eucharist, we do meet Jesus himself, who comes to us under signs of bread and wine to nourish and strengthen us for our journey through life. We see with human eyes what looks like bread and wine. We see with eyes of faith, not bread and wine, but the risen living Lord Jesus. The Eucharist is a sacrifice, the representation or reliving in an unbloody manner of Christ's death on Good Friday and of His resurrection on Easter Sunday. This Eucharist, which is both sacrament and sacrifice, is basic to our worship as Catholics and our daily living as Catholics. How is this so? The Eucharist is the highest expression of prayer and the summit of worship. The third commandment reminds us to worship the Lord on His day. Because Christ's resurrection and the coming of the Holy Spirit took place on Sunday, the early Christians made the first day of the week the Lord's Day. As Catholics, we fulfill the third commandment by coming together to worship. How? Through the celebration of the Eucharist. Why through the Eucharist? Because there is no other form of contact with God so intimate and so deep as the Eucharist. In the Eucharist, especially at the moment of Holy Communion, the risen Lord as a person and each of us as a person become one. Two persons become one in communion, truly and in personal union. We pray in many ways and in many places and we should. These various kinds of prayer to join us to the Lord and foster a union with Him. But no form of prayer gives the intimacy and the union that the Eucharist gives. Imagine, the Lord Himself, body and blood, soul and divinity, come to dwell within us. That is why we worship the Lord through the Eucharist. That is why, regardless of how wonderfully or poorly the priest preaches, how close or distant we feel to priest, what the mo motives are of those around us, we should come to celebrate the Eucharist each Sunday and Holy Day. No one and nothing should be an obstacle to our coming to be one with the Lord and through that oneness to find the strength we need to live life with faith, hope, and love. Because the real presence of Jesus continues, we believe that He is present in a special way in the tabernacle in our churches. We ought to visit the Blessed Sacrament often. The Eucharist is also the summary of our daily living. 
and giving us the Eucharist, Jesus said, Take it, this is my body. This is my blood of the covenant which will be shed for many. Jesus not only said those words, he lived them by a life of self-giving and by giving his life on the cross. You and I are to do the same. Our daily lives must reflect the Eucharist we celebrate. Each day we must give of ourselves, pour out our lives in service and in love of others. Every Sunday before the Holy Communion, we hear these words in the Holy Liturgy. Holy things are for the holy. What are the meanings of these words? The holy things refer to the holy mysteries, such as Holy Communion. These mysteries are given not for everyone, but to the holy ones of God, the saints. In the liturgy, they are given to the faithful. The people of the parish are and are to be the holy ones of God. One has to desire to be among the faithful, among the holy ones to receive the holy mysteries. They are gifts for those who seek the Lord, for those who choose and desire to live a holy life. Holiness is not magic that can change someone into something they are not. Holiness comes to those who choose to be united to the Holy One of God, Jesus Christ. We maintain holiness by maintaining our unity with Christ, whose body is the Church. Dear brothers and sisters, remember, when we receive the holy mysteries of God and become the Holy Ones of God, we have come to the very purpose of our existence. In the holy mysteries, we are united to the One who is holy, Jesus Christ. Amen.